Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today is a bit of a festive treat. <laughs> so it's a winter haul and it's comprised of things that I have been thrifting throughout the last few months. So whereas I would dearly love to have the kind of luck to have found all of this gorgeous gloriousness in one thrifting trip, that's just not real life. <laughs> so just to be really clear, I collected this a bit here, a bit there on several thrifting trips spread out over several months, but I've kept them all together and they are now going to be a haul. Now, what makes a good winter haul? Well, I like to have fake fur, I like to have velvet, I like to have luxurious fabrics and gorgeous jewel-like colours. So it's all that goodness and more and I'm excited to show you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, this first one is a little bit of a wild card for me because I try really hard to avoid black and grey because I find them quite draining on me. However, I've picked up something that is both black and grey, <laughs> so, you know, just goes to show. This piece is fabulous and I absolutely love it. It's a grey blazer with a lovely herringbone pattern, lined, and of course the statement collar. Now it's detachable because there are some tiny little buttons all around. I could take it off if I wanted to. However, why would I want to? <laughs> That's my feeling on the matter. The collar is very, very thick, very, very wide, and just this lovely fake fur. It's really soft, really comfortable. Now what I like about this is that it means I don't have to wear a scarf because I can just have the, the snuggly collar and feel lovely and warm but the blazer itself is very smart. So it lends itself to a range of different situations where I might like to wear it, which is fabulous. I love something this versatile, and this really is. I don't even mind that it's gray and black. I, I've, <laughs> I've shared this theory before, whereas I do try to avoid gray and black, in the winter months when the weather is really dingy and gray and the lighting is really low and it's just blah, sometimes I do just wanna wear gray and black because it kind of matches the weather and my mood. <laughs> So it just works, it just works. This is very comfortable to wear. The sleeves are a good length on me. I like the fact it's got pockets. I tend not to use pockets on blazers. I forget that they're there, but you know. This is actually two sizes larger than I am, but I feel like it fits really well. And what I love about buying slightly larger than I am is that I can wear a jumper underneath. So it works for layering as well, which is really helpful. The brand is I never know if you should say it femme or femme because it's a French word, isn't it? I'm gonna say femme. If, it, if I'm wrong, I apologize. You know I do get these words wrong <laughs> from time to time. It does up at the front with a couple of buttons and the pocket has a really nice detail and that it's almost pleated, which I think is pretty fab. So I'm really, really happy with this jacket. My daughter tried it on yesterday and removed the tag, didn't put it back. So I can't remember how much it was, but I think it was six pounds. It might've been five, but I'm fairly sure it was slightly more than that. So I'm gonna say six. Six pounds is not bad for a lovely jacket like this, so I'm really, really happy with that. Next up, I'm gonna show you another black piece. <laughs> and yes, I know I try to avoid black. And yes, I just showed you a black and gray piece, but this is stunning. I cannot, I just can't. <laughs> it's a floor length, or maxi, to use the proper word, velvet skirt. It's absolutely so soft. I'm very tall, I'm 5'10", and it's floor length on me with a little train at the back. It appeals to me because of the drama of the skirt. And I can combine it with the blazer and it looks fantastic because you've got the black of the collar, which matches the black of the skirt. It's, oh, it's just lovely. And the textures together, this feels absolutely fantastic. It's very heavy, but it's not stiff or itchy at all. It's just, oh, it's, it feels amazing, it really does. This one does still have the tag on, because my daughter did not try this one on. It's seven pounds. This is vintage skirt, I forgot to say that before. And I know that because it says on the label it was made in West Germany. And obviously they haven't been in East and West Germany for quite some time. The brand is Vera Mont. It's lined and it, it just makes me feel amazing when I wear it. I think because of the length and the fabric and the color, it's so dramatic without being a look at me, look at me piece. It strikes that perfect balance for me. And it was just seven pounds. I saw it hanging up in Deborah charity shop and I thought, wow. And I think it was the velvet that drew me to it. And I love velvet, especially for this time of year. So that is my skirt, I absolutely adore it. Next up, we're gonna go for some shoes. These were such a bargain. I, I can't believe what a bargain they were. So let me show you what they are. They are these absolutely fantastic lace up ankle boots and they're from Clark's. 
They're a very, very dark burgundy. They still have the tag on so you can see what size they are and how much they were as well. They were £10, which is fantastic. As you can see from the condition of the sole as well, they haven't been worn. They've never been worn. They've never been worn. <laughs> and they are just £10. I am staggered by this. I haven't actually researched on the Clark's website to see how much they would go for or something similar would go for. I'm going to guess at least £60, maybe even more. They are a seven and a half and I'm an, at least an eight. So I will be wearing them around the house with some thick woolly socks <laughs> to try and give, to, to maximise that stretch before I wear them out. However, I bought them because they were comfortable when I tried them on, so that's a good thing. And also, I know that leather boots, especially lace-up leather boots, have a lot of give in them and a lot of kind of flexibility because you can loosen the laces. So I am not worried. I know that they're going to be really comfortable. But yeah, £10 for some fantastic winter boots. So happy with those. <laughs> okay, let's move on to a very colourful piece. This is more velvet because it's winter and I want velvet. And it is also very red. This is one of the most gorgeous blazers I own now. It's super, super soft, very red as you can see. Oh, look at that on camera. It really does bring out the true color. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's originally from Marks and Spencers because I love Marks and Spencers pieces. I absolutely adore finding them in charity shops because they're always in great condition and they're fantastic quality and you can get some absolutely stonking bargains, which is really lovely. This fabric and this color is perfect for this time of year. I'm planning to wear this on Christmas day. I might wear it over a dress. Um, I might wear it over jeans if I'm feeling I just want to be cash. Uh, I haven't decided. It depends what mood I'm in when I wake up on Christmas day, but I'll definitely be wearing this. I think it's, it's just lovely. I absolutely adore it. Sadly, I've lost the tag for this. However, I believe it was eight pounds. It was an absolute steal. Eight quid for a festive, luxurious and brilliant quality blazer. It's, you know, you can't go wrong. Thank you, charity shops. <laughs> And moving on to the final piece, this is another vintage piece and I am super happy that I got this. I can't quite believe how amazing it is, I'm just, I'm just going to show you. I have a lot of coats and that's because I live in the UK where it's cold and wet and windy for much of the year. So it's nice to have a little bit of variety. Therefore, when I saw this piece, I did think I don't need it. However, it won me over because it's stunning. It is this absolutely beautiful belted coat. Now the colour is phenomenal. Regular viewers will know I love burgundy and this is stunning. It's just beautiful. And then we have this amazing thick black faux fur collar. It's, I, I keep saying stunning, I have to stop saying stunning, but honestly my jaw dropped when I saw it. It luckily still has the belt, which is often quite unusual for coats like this. The belt can be lost before it's donated and it then gets donated without a belt. But the belt is here. It was 12 95 which is absolutely fantastic for a winter coat and especially a gorgeous one like this. I can tell from the tag that it's vintage. It's actually pure new wool. I've got a pure wool coat here for 12 95 in a colour I adore with a collar that's both snuggly and statement <laughs> comes with the belt and it's in fabulous condition the only flaw is that there is a tiny little hole in the sleeve now I'm gonna have to give that some attention because I absolutely don't want that to fray or unravel or anything like that so I need to find a way to stop the hole from growing further and ideally blend in with the rest of the coat so if you've got any ideas or suggestions for that i'm all ears because no idea how i'm going to do it a long time ago i would have seen the hole and thought no i don't want to buy that but i recognize now that with vintage items it's natural that you're going to see some wear and tear and if you can fix it so the item can live longer and you can love it for longer then that's obviously the ideal outcome so if you can think of a way for me to fix up this little hole, please do let me know because I'd be very grateful. Anyway, that is the end of the video. It's now absolutely pouring outside with rain. I don't know if you can hear it, I hope you can't, but it's making me feel really snug and warm and I'm very fortunate to um, not be going out anytime soon. Have a fantastic festive week, happy holidays, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.